What's going on guys, Taters from Team Side Potatoes here today to give you guys my next regional deck profile. The regional I'm going to is going to be March 1st in Louisville, uh, Kentucky. And this is the deck I'm going to be taking. I chose to play Zombies for the simple fact that I wanted to take a combo deck and I wanted to have a, um, a deck that uh, took a, a new deck, I guess I should say. Uh, I've never played Zombies before like two weeks ago. Uh, when I first picked up the deck, because I wanted to, I wanted to take a deck I've never played before for one, and two I wanted to take a combo deck, so I chose to play zombies, uh, and I'm I'm loving it. I, I'm loving the fact that I chose to take this deck just for the simple fact that the deck is so diverse. Like every game is not the same. Every game is new in the way you have to play out your turns and the way that you um have to go for your combos and the way that you have to combat what your opponent has. Every game is new with this deck, and I love it for that simple fact. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and go into the deck profile, and I'll give you guys short explanations on the way, and uh, maybe go in depth uh, towards the end of the deck profile. But for now, we'll just go ahead and start off with one Zombie Master, three Pyramid Turtles, three Mizuki, three Destiny Hero Malicious, Two Goblin Zombies, two Plague Spreaders, and one Endless Decay. That is our zombie lineup. And uh, the rest of our monsters consist of just milling, which will be one Card Trooper, one Lila, and double Ryko. On into the spell lineup, we have Triple Pot of Duality, Triple MST, one Book of Life, one Different Dimension Reincarnation, one Charge of Light Brigade, one burial from a different dimension, a foolish burial, and a dark hole. Our trap lineup consists of triple divine wrath, one dust tornado, uh, one call of the haunted, one solemn warning, one torrential tribute, one bottomless trap hole, and one compulsory evacuation device. Uh, on into the extra deck, we have one void ogre dragon, one crimson blader, one scrab dragon, one dark end dragon, double stardust dragon. One Black Rose Dragon, one Revived King Hades, uh, Doom Kaiser Dragon, HTS Cyhemoth, Divine Dragon uh, Felgrand, Diamond Dire Wolf, Lavalval Chain, Gaga Ga Cowboy, and Abyss Dweller. Uh, to explain a few things, I opted to play Triple Pyramid Turtle. Um, Mostly for the fact that uh, Pyramid Turtle is the central point in this deck. First turn, what you want to have is a Pyramid Turtle. You want to be able to set up uh, your place with Pyramid Turtle. Um, you want to set a Pyramid Turtle, maybe one to two back row, and then pass your turn. Usually what you want to be setting behind that Pyramid Turtle is either uh, Divine Wrath in one of your four big traps, or... Um, uh, some back row removal. If you set the back row removal, usually that means if they attack over your pyramid turtle, you can go into an endless decay and uh, remove their back row so you can just beat face with endless decay. Uh, but if you open up with, uh, say, like a divine wrath and a, um, a warning, uh, that's a really, really defensive tra trap lineup behind your pyramid turtle. So what you can do is you can... Um, you can have your pyramid turtle go ahead and get, uh, say, um, get you a, uh, a zombie master, and then next turn you can just go off, depending, you know, on the situation. Um, I opted for three Mizuki because I've been playing back and forth between two and three, but at the end of the day, he's just way too good not to play three. The reason I've been flip-flopping back and forth between two and three is because I don't like having him in my hand. All he is in my hand is discard fodder and uh, a 1700 beat stick. So I don't particularly like having him in my hand, but three is just way too good not to play. One zombie master for the simple fact that he's too toolboxed, like I can get him off of pyramid turtle and goblin zombie. Even if he's milled off into the graveyard, Mizuki kicking can get him back. So no matter where he's at, I have access to him. Uh, two plague spiders in instead of three. Uh, three just clogs. Um, the only reason I would want to run three is because, um, it's really good when you have a plague spreader already in hand and you're malicious in, in grave because it makes, um, it makes, uh, the double eight, uh, level eight synchro play, uh, less resource dependent because you can just normal summon the plague, malicious synchro, and then special summon the plague malicious synchro and uh it's it's not as resource dependent as uh, a lot of the other malicious plague um combos are 
In this case, there's a fat beat stick. I'm only opting to play one card trooper because he's a really solid card in the deck, but I don't like to see him too often. That's the simple fact of it. He can mill you three cards, two cards, or one card, um, and be a beat stick for a turn if you want him to be, and then net you a plus one when he dies. That's the, the, simply what he is. I don't need to. Uh, I just like him in there as the, the plus one that he is. Uh, double Ryko and Delilah. Uh, along with the Charge of the Light Brigade is a really, really good mill engine that just gets cards off the board. It's all meant, these three are just meant to get back row off the board. I guess Ryko, if they have, if you have a problem mo monster, yeah. Um, but most of the time I'm going to be blasting back row with Ryko. Um, triple part of duality. I opted for the triple duality for the simple fact that you want to be able to get to your Ryko's. Um, your Goblin Zombie or your Pyramid Turtle first turn. That's the only reason it's in there, because the first turn, um, Pyramid Turtle is way too important in this deck. Uh, Triple Divine Wrath. Uh, this is probably the thing that catches most people, I, most people's eyes about my deck. Um, I opted for Triple Divine Wrath. Um, I've been going back and forth between... Uh, three Divine Wrath, uh, or three Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, or two and two, and finally I've just settled on the Triple Divine Wrath for um, the simple fact that uh, this deck has a real problem with uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear, and this takes Bear right out of the equation. Um, the only reason I would play Phoenix Wing Wind Blast over Divine Wrath is if uh, Bear wasn't a card for one, and two. Um, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast is uh, very useful for the first turn decay because if they attack into your Pyramid Turtle, you have your triple MSTs, uh, your triple Wing Blast, and in my case, the one Dust Tornado. Um, and that'll set you up to erase all of their back row. And when they attack into Pyramid Turtle, you get endless decay. In phase, you erase all their back row and just start beating for 4k. Uh, the one dust tornado for the simple fact that uh, back row removal is essential in this deck, and I really like dust tornado in this deck because it's good for in phase dust. Uh, you go in phase tornado, and then you set your divine wrath. And next turn, you can go off without having to worry about Maxi or Valor because divine wrath can handle the hand traps. In the extra deck, um, I'm not playing Colossal Fighter. I opted for the second Stardust instead because um, if I have enough back row in my hand uh, to back up double Stardust, I will go for double Stardust, set uh, three or four back row, and just say go. And usually they can't do anything about it because it's such a strong play, it's ridiculous. Um, in the end, I might just cut the, the Felgrand for a Colossal Fighter. Um, the only reason Felgrand is in here is because... Um, if I have two level eights uh, synchros that aren't doing much or aren't fitting for the si the situation has changed for what synchros I have, I can just overlay into Felgran and he handles everything. <laughs> um, the rank fours are Abyss Dweller, Gaga Cowboy, Lavaval Chain, and Diamond Direwolf. It, this is the deck I will be taking regionals, so I need the real cards. I do not have an Exiton or a Shark Knight. Um, if I did, I would take Felgrand and, uh, probably Diamond Direwolf, um, out for Shark Knight and Exiton, because those two cards are extremely overpowered, and, um, I would love to play with them. However, I can't because they're expensive. <laughs> That's just the simple fact, you guys. Um... So thank you for watching. This is my zombie deck. If you guys have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video or you like the deck profile or you're using the deck yourself, go ahead and drop a like. Um, and if you really love me that much, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and you can see hear more of my ugly voice and see more of my ugly face. I love you guys. I'm Taters from Team Slap Taters. Peace.